rolling easy back in the easy garage back at you all right we are on the air with chewy and your host rolling easy you're rolling with the best the rolling easy express okay let's uh we're gonna do a video on some workhorse cards these are these are your workhorse blister packs around 1982, 83, and 84. Mattel went from, um, there, let me grab one. Let me show you. They went from doing like all their cars, and the cards were all basically the same, to individually doing cards. So they did um, workhorse, hot ones. Um, what else do they do? Real Riders and Extra Series. So in the mid 80s, they were changing it up. So I have all these. I love these workhorse cards. And I want to get them out of these hard plastic containers. And they're going to go up here on the wall. I'm waiting and this rainy, cold, miserable day. I'm waiting for, I know it's Sunday, but Amazon said they're gonna deliver my new um, blister pack, protector packs, these. So I'm gonna take these out. I'm, I'm taking all these, I'm gonna clean them up. And in the house, I have my flying color blister packs, which I love the flying colors blisters and the patch collector years the best so let's take a look at some of these here is your trash truck on a workhorse card unpunched and let's see if it's made in this one's made in malaysia now around this time too was the first time you started seeing malaysia bases up until I think 82, if I believe, everything was Hong Kong. And then they started redoing some of these and, and putting them out from Malaysia. So I have a, another one and a little, it's punched, it's got a sticker, but I don't know if it's Malaysia or Hong Kong. We'll pull it out of this. I'm gonna go back in this and go on the wall. Just, unless it's a, Malaysia also. Yeah, they both look like Malaysia. Now, there you go. So I guess this is going to be my keeper on the unpunched. And this will go for sale in the trailer. I didn't know I had two of them because the other one's been sitting up there. All right, what's next? Um, let's do a... Workhorse dump truck. Now this is the earlier model. I think the first one had the casting. I'm not sure if this this may be the the first one with the tampo, and then the casting, or maybe the casting and the tampo. This thing has some it looks like some chips on it. May have been repackaged. Let's let's see. No. Now the package is rough, but oh, I don't know. Can't tell. Can't really tell. But there it is, the dump truck on a workhorse blister pack. Now some of you older, I keep saying older, but old school, when you guys were actually collecting these things, was this number... Is this like from the Mattel toy store, toy shop in El Segundo? Because I get a lot of these cars like this, like this one here has it. And they seem to be more common with this, with this number up there. I'm not sure. Fill me in. If you guys know, leave a comment. Here's another one with that number. This is the, this one's in a, a plastic case we got to pull out the 
Cat Forklift. This one's in yellow. It's got its tampo right there, basic wheel. And that was made in, um, this one's made in Hong Kong. Oh, and here's your, your back of your package. If you haven't, if you haven't seen it, I don't know if they're the same. Yeah, they're about the same. I run across something different, I'm gonna let you know. And up next, the workhorse Peterbilt. This, I had the hardest time finding this car loose in Malaysia. There were plenty of um, Hong Kong ones. This one's your Peterbilt tanker truck. But even, you know, on the blister card, it's got the paper on there. Uh, one of you guys let me know that on the back, that's your country. Now, I'm not sure on that, but... I will take his word for it. So I would say this is a Malaysia unpunched um, tanker truck. Up next, we got another one. Let's see, I'll do a couple of these. Let's let's do this. Let's uh, this is one I got new, and it's going to get a new protector pack because it came with these these little cheesy ones, which I'm going to get rid of. I like to keep them all basically the same your highway hauler you've seen that on one of my videos this is a new arrival let's see it's got that up there too but there it is the north american highway hauler and another new one to the collection would be oh, this goes here because i got something to show you i'm going to show you something really cool all right, here's another one new for my collection that had just come in. That's what got me started on pulling out all these workhorses, the construction crane. I love this model. I, I hoard this thing. Loose, mint, I have tons of them. This one, the back of the package does say Hong Kong. So you can't see it under the paper there. But I will take his word for it. That is the Hong Kong model of the construction crane and then what else do i have i have this in a hard acrylic your mark's phone truck it's actually just titled the phone truck but as you see it's got the marks on the side also came with without marks i think it just said phone truck or something like that um very nice, not not bad condition. It's it's got some creases and it is it is what it is for a blister pack. This one is made in Hong Kong. And this one I can see the base. And it is Hong Kong. So there you go. Your Mark's phone truck. Up next, we have a rig wrecker, which needs to come out of the plastic. And let's see it. The card is rough in rough shape. But when do you see this truck on the card? Metal base. Got your Steve's. I think it's Steve's towing. Steve's towing. Basic wheel. Um, this one's made in Malaysia. And let's check the base because we can see it. Malaysia. And there you go your rig record all right up next after that this one's kind of a strange one to me it's got to come out of this but look at the um how the workhorse is written in red everyone i've shown you and everyone i have is written in yellow and i don't know why this is if one of you guys with knowledge can fill me in on that, why they switched over to the red, how many they were. But this is your bulldozer, your cat bulldozer. It's got a uh, rubber tracks, which actually do work. The back of this package is, is a little different. 
Maybe it's the year. That's why they, uh, maybe that's a later run or early run. Uh, I can tell by the model, but I, I don't know offhand. I think some of them came with um, little tampos too. So don't know if that's, that's probably a later run, maybe. But there you go. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. This is what's cool about these. I got the tables of mess again. Um, what's cool about this is in my collection of these workhorses. So I had this one here, the Peterbilt tank truck. But check this one out. Check that out. Look at the packaging. It's a little bit shorter. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I do not think this is French. I believe this is German packaging. So I have, and I won't waste your time and take it out of here. I'll just, I'll take it out at my leisure. But there it is. I, here's your back. You can see the writing on it. I believe this is a German packaging. And if it is, I have a lot of German package workhorses. I also have the dump truck and a German package or whatever package this is, which is cool. This one's blown out the blister, but it's still cool. But if you can tell, this one here has the stamped, it's indented in the metal versus the um, the little tampo they added. So that's, well, there's a variation, but I do love the card. I think the card is cool. And also in this odd, strange country, we have the cat forklift. And you can see this one has the tampo also. And this one has it embossed. So there, there's some sort of international cards, and I, I want to say they're German because a lot of this stuff on the back just seems to be German writing. But there's your back of this package. Man, I thought you guys want to see these because once I, once I put them in their little blisters, you get them out of these, they'll, they'll go up there and you probably won't see them. They'll get buried, buried, buried. But I've been, um, all these over here, I um, already cleaned up, got them ready, going down. I need to finish the cases so I can get them up before the mail lady comes. And here's all the ones I have taken down and cleaned up because I need to, I'm moving the rows up. I was able to go up two more tiers so I can move all this up and get some more blue cards out of the tub. Those guys are going to be so happy to be free. They've been sitting in a tub for probably 18 years uh, since I moved up here. So it is what it is. I can't wait to see them. We, I have up to 100, number 100 blue card there. So we'll go in the tub and see how many we can get. I got 120. Uh, the little protectors coming. So if I clean some of these and maybe get rid of some of these that I don't, I don't like these clamshells, but um, maybe we'll be able to add another 100 cars, which it won't take you to 150 because now we're getting into blue card variation. So there's going to be one card that might have four variations. So we're going to get into that. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing. Um... I'm I'm having a great time with this. I hope you enjoy my videos. If you like to see something, let me know. I always say that, but I, then I just go on to what I want to show you. So next video, we'll do the cases, get those up, and hopefully the mail lady will come. Thank you, guys. Don't forget, stay easy. Keep on turning them Hot Wheels.